BMW presents Hypnopolis 2 Utopia in Progress Episode 1 Light Sleeper The night the chosen few broke Adam Zeleny on a stasis, all my nightmares came true at once. What was that? We are under attack. Whatever comes through the door, they don't get past us. No, sir. This way. That's it. Stasis block, 922. Stay down. You up. Vamos. Move it. Move it. Now get this door open. Or we start killing your buddies. Bringing him out of stasis like this could kill him. If he dies, you die. Adam? Can you hear me? Is that you, Angel? It's me. Get me out of this thing and give me a gun. Open it! Free at last. It's so good to see you. Gun! Good. Now let's sweep away our footprints. Starting with him. No, no, пожалуйста, нет! No, 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 no! By the time the news reached me, every secret service and every law enforcement agency on the planet had been put on high alert. I'd been recalled from a mission in Tokyo and was on a plane back home watching the escape footage. Now let's sweep away our footprints. Starting with him. No, no, пожалуйста, no, 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 no! My sensors tell me this guy's bad news. What do you think, boss? He is bad news. For everyone on the planet. Joy, show me the end of the video again. Certainly, Glyph. Um, which section? Stasis chamber. Angle on Zeleny. I should have tried to get some sleep, but the thought of that monster being back out there somewhere made it impossible. Adam? Can you hear me? Is that you, Angel? It's me. Pause video. Magnify and sharpen image. Sure. Anywhere in particular caught your eye glyph? The back of her hand as she touches the glass. Found something, boss? Don't know, Oko. Maybe. On the back of the woman's hand was a tattoo. A coiled snake or serpent eating its own tail. Then again, it's probably nothing. Oko and I arrived at Global Police's Stockholm headquarters in the small hours of the morning. Special Agent Frieden, Cliff D. Police droid, Oscar Kilo Oscar, 523. My superior, Global Section Director Ingrid Walter, was already there and waiting. Sometimes I think she slept in that office. 30 guards dead. All stasis units terminal. How many inmates were there? 
over 2,000. Seems they blew the place up in hope it would hide the missing prisoner, but they didn't count on the security footage being stored remotely. I doubt they cared. Knowing the way Zeleny thinks, he'd kill twice that many people just to play it safe. And now it's up to us to get him back. Joy, bring up the file. Yes, ma'am. Adam Constantinos Zeleny, self-styled leader of the Chosen Few. Do we have an ID on the woman who led the escape? Nadia Corvo, like Zeleny, an ecologically motivated protester turned violent extremist. Exactly his type. Typical, isn't it? We're only a few decades from fully restoring the planet's ecology, and then these maniacs come along. And you can't fault their logic. Eradicate mankind, eradicate the problem. Uh, yes, uh, brilliant. They could be anywhere right now. An air purification plant in the Ural Mountains one week, a fourth station project in Calcutta the next. Where do you want me to start? Joy, show them the list. First, I want you to go and talk to this man, Jason Lin. Who? A computer hacker. Ecologically motivated, the way Zeleny likes them. Where can I find him? He's serving ten years stasis at a facility in the Colorado desert. What for? He hacked the computers of an eco-company he suspected of exploiting its position for profit. Mm-hmm. And were they? It seems Mr. Lin was mistaken. Bad luck for him. Take Oko with you. I want a full report. It's most likely a dead end, but we've got to start somewhere. Yes, ma'am. We'll get right on the next flight out. But what if this Jason Lin fellow doesn't want to talk to me? Then strike him off the list, and try the next known associate of the Chosen Few. And hope Zeleny hasn't destroyed the world in the meantime. get lucky. It's a long way to go for a one-sided conversation. Yeah, well, at least the plane will clean the air as it flies. Guess we'll be doing some good, whatever happens. And now, we're going over to an emergency statement by Cassandra Banks, governor of the Pan Global Environmental Agency. Good morning. In light of the recent escape of the so-called eco-cultist Adam Zeleny, I felt a direct statement would be best. I will not be taking questions at this time. Despite the numerous failings by the international agencies that led to the attack on our Ural air purification plant three years ago, we at Pangaea have every confidence in the current effort to recapture the perpetrator, Adam Zeleny. Largely thanks to the temporary powers granted to us as a result of that atrocity, Pangaea will be able to oversee all efforts to locate not only Zeleny, but also any and all members of his group. As ever, our priority is the total restoration of Earth's environment by the dawn of the 22nd century. Nothing and no one must be allowed to prevent that. That's all for now. Thank you. Governor, Governor Banks. Governor, 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 Governor Banks. Governor, Governor Banks. Governor, Governor, Governor Banks. If you ask me, Pangea's getting pretty darn big for their britches these days. I, I didn't ask you. And anyway, they're trying to save the world. Same as us. Yeah, yeah, but when Banks badmouths those international agencies, that means us! Uh, what? What's up? You're working too hard. Says who? I do. Oko, 
There's a madman on the loose who wants to sabotage the world cleanup operation and decimate humanity. And that's exactly why you should take it easy when you can. Uh, what do you want me to do? Listen to beach sounds? Beach sounds? You and me have different ideas about relaxation. Hey boss! What? Ask Joy to say something nice about me. Oko, we've talked about this. It's nothing but a universal virtual assistant. It's never going to like you back. Oh, come on, please. I just like to hear it. Oh, all right then. Joy, would you say something nice about Oko, please? Um, I'm sorry. I do not understand the purpose of this request. See, Oko. Trust me, boss. She's just playing hard to get. Commencing resuscitation process. Stand by for electroconvulsion. <coughs> Knock it off, Len. <laughs> this isn't your first rodeo. Uh, good morning to you, too. On your feet. Uh, what year is it? Because if this was my release date, there wouldn't be sun in my eyes. Just get yourself through to cognition screening while we're all still young, will ya? <sighs> cognition screening? Uh, I hope it's not still that crummy word association test. Morning. <sighs> Coffee. Sky. Coffee. Tree. No, I'm asking you for a cup of coffee. Tree. Coffee. Do not make me come in there, Lynn. <sighs> Do we have to do this every time? Honestly, my cognitive abilities are fine. Oh, Lynn! Sorry, apologies. <laughs> you guys just make it so easy, that's all. Continue. Wait, do you want to start from the top, or should we just keep going? My sensors tell me this guy's gonna be hard work. Yeah, mine too. Ah, Agent Frieden. Thought I'd find you in here. Getting the measure of your target, are you? I simply want to ask him a few questions. Well, be on your guard. Jason Lynn is one of our more colorful inmates. Not dangerous, but a sneaky little know-it-all all the same. Care to see our file on him before I take you through? Yes, please. I would. Then here you go. The warden showed me the California Stasis Penitentiary report on Jason Lynn, and it contained a few things the Glowpole file had seen fit to gloss over. This man didn't seem the sort to join the chosen few. The recycling company he'd accused of corruption was called Dirt and Fingist Inc. And right before he was sent down, he hacked them one last time and changed the name on all their online branding to Dirty Finger Stink. A nice touch. <laughs> Something funny, Agent Frieden? <clears throat> you know, Warden, this guy strikes me as more than a sneaky little know-it-all. Perhaps it'd be better if I saw him alone. With you present, there's a higher chance he'll clam up. If you insist. I hope he doesn't give you any trouble. So do I. Do you think he will? Hard to say. He takes delight in trying to rile me and the guards. I can tell you that for free. In that case, maybe Oko and I should see him alone. <laughs> be my guest. <laughs> but remember, however well he might behave in front of you, like every other resident of our little community, he's nothing but a criminal. <sighs> Listen, this isn't exactly my first interrogation, Agent... Uh... Frieden. Agent Frieden. So it would really help if you just came to the point and told me what the deal is? What do you mean by deal? Well, usually they start by offering me immunity or a reduced sentence or something. Has that ever worked? Nah, because I don't write on my contacts. And it's not an honor among thieves thing, because I'm no thief. I ended up here eyes wide open, and I do what I did again. So whatever you think you're going to buy me with, it won't work. Also, they usually bring coffee. Mr. Lin, I'm not here to try to bribe you or buy you or anything like that. The... 
then why are you here? 24 hours ago, Adam Zeleny was broken out of a high-security stasis facility in northern Siberia. Zeleny? Mm -hmm. We know you did work for members of his group. Ne never knowingly. Knowingly or not, I don't think you're a psychopath or an extremist. Believe it or not, I've come here to appeal to your better nature. Hmm. What makes you think I have one? Let me get you that coffee. Yeah, I'm not sure the whole good cop act suits you, boss. Lucky I didn't ask you then. My sensors tell me he's hiding something. Of course he is. He's scared. Want me to sweat it out of him, boss? <laughs> <laughs> Oko, oh, you're not sweating anything out of anybody. Five minutes. That's all I need. No! Spoil sport. What's that? Ah, uh, Lynn! Where'd he go? He was locked in. Oh, what's happened? Where's the prisoner? He must have got out! How could he do that? He must have tripped the electronic lock. The man is a computer genius! Oh, and you never thought to mention that? Where do those stairs go? Down to the recreation area. You can see it from the window. Oko, be there to break my fall. I hope you know what you're doing. Wh what? I'll explain later. Ugh. Where did you come from? Don't move. Don't worry, I'm not. Why did you try to run? <laughs> Was Zeleny out there? Are you kidding? You're safe here. Oh, really? Sounds like they thought he was safe in Siberia. You think he'll come after you? From what I understand, he isn't fond of loose ends. And I'd rather be awake to see him coming. Maybe we can arrange something. What? Like a deal? Yes, between you and me. You're a strange one, Frieden. I almost want to believe you. Sorry to ruin the moment, but I'm picking up a coded control signal that corresponds to a military-grade anti-personnel assault scout. What? And now I can hear it. Can you hear that? Yeah, I can hear that. I recommend we do not hang around. They're very serious machines, and it's headed this way. Too late, there it is! Target acquired. It's locking onto me! Lynn, get down! <laughs> 